As I'm sure you will be very aware, <laughs> we're a Christian country, so it's, a, uh, it's quite difficult, mm -hmm. but we are trying really hard to uh, have them come out and put out their statement. I think they're also having their own discussions, but mm -hmm. whatever it is, we'd really like them to come out. So if they're listening, if they're going to be hearing this, we're already in communication with you. We know you can do it. Come on out and you know, have your statement and say it. That's one. The other one is we have another march that's coming up on March the 6th, uh, November the 16th. Look at the way that it's going right now. You can already get the temperature in the political situation that it's probably not going to be approved. But that's not doesn't mean we're going to pull back on the application. We're going to push it all the way through. The thing is, we have to come up with plan Bs. And we have to know that even though we come across November the 16th, there's no much. We are going to be gathering. We're going to continue to do whatever we can in our small spaces. Eh? So I would just want to also give a shout out to the people who are planning the march for this Saturday. Eh? We're already writing our little press releases in our own organizations to post it as, and far, as far and wide as we can that the point was not about the security of the nation. It was about them doing their jobs and providing safe passage for the protesters to you know, enable them to have their own say. So when it comes to ours as well on November the 16th, no matter where we are, I'd like to rest assured, you know, give you assurance that the Angio Coalition, we are going to be planning things. And the more people turn up in numbers, the better it will be you know, for us to raise our voices. I think that's all from the Angio Coalition so far. And is there anything else? Not for me. Anybody else from the Angio Coalition? I just wanted to say that if you are planning things mm -hmm. and uh, you know, let us all know so we can all be together, uh, mm -hmm. this here is hopefully a safe space. Mm -hmm. uh, we will continue to hold these vigils one next week and so on. We'll keep letting you know. I think we need to have that presence. Uh, and uh, for the March on the 16th, uh, the uh, LTA has given us the permit. It's now with the police. And as Chantel said, very doubtful. Uh, whether we will get it, but if we don't, then we'll still gather here. We'll let you know what we are doing and have within our own uh, uh, fences and uh, try and make some noise again if we don't get that. So yes, I just wanted to say that let us know whatever you are doing so we can do all this in solidarity. And in safety. Yeah? In safety. In and safety. in safety. We have to make sure that we are safe. We've come out of 16 years and we really want to get our voices to be raised. And this is this is like a historical, we have to take a stand. It's just what we have to do, as well as for West Papua. So we have that experience. It's just that we're supposed to, we're supposed to be living in a democracy, and it doesn't feel like it. So just know that if you're going to plan something, please be in touch with the NGO coalition. Not that it's a magic wand and everything will be safe. No, it's just to have safety in numbers, mm -hmm. you know, just so that we can come up with a plan. Yeah? if you want to do that. Okay. It's like a friend of mine said to me today, wrote to me and said, it's democracy by permission of the military. <laughs> and that's what we have right now. And we, as Fijians, we have to keep fighting against it. Last, the last 16 years have been very hard. And uh, you know, we're not going to jump out of the frying pan into the fire. And we have to keep fighting for this and keep raising our voices without fear. But, what Chantel talked about, the safety plan. It's really important. Whatever we are organizing, we have a safety plan. And, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and if you need to work out, I know the young people want to uh, you know, march the students and so on, want to do other things, we can work out with you. We thought the march was going to take place. We we're planning to actually today mm -hmm. sit down with the people who organize the march at USP and uh, work out a safety plan, whether you had one already or not. If you didn't, we were there. So.